We're about two months into this emergency ban that they have on these flavored vaping products right now. And earlier today, I was texting with Kevin Knapp. He's the owner of this Pure Vapor shop here. And I asked him if he was going to be able to survive this ban and even possibly a permanent one. He told me that he's confident that they can get through this temporary ban that they have right now. But he did say if there ends up being a permanent ban, however, we would not be able to stay open as a traditional vape shop. Now, since April of this year, there have been 19 cases of severe lung disease related to vaping products here in Washington State and there's been more than 2,000 cases happening around the country and despite the conversation getting a little bit quieter on the national level the governor is determined to make the emergency ban that we have here a permanent one. President Trump's team has backed off pursuing a nationwide ban on vaping products but here in Washington State Governor Inslee plans to introduce tougher legislation on vaping that would make the emergency ban permanent. On October 10th, the Washington State Department of Health enacted a 120-day ban on flavored vaping products. It prohibits the sale of any of those products through February 7, 2020. When the next session picks up in January, the Seattle Times says that Inslee's proposal would put a cap on nicotine levels in non-THC vaping products and eliminate bulk sales, as well as give broader authority to state to issue bans or seize illegal products. Tim Robinson from Seattle Public Schools says while it's too early to tell if the number of vaping incidents in their schools has gone up or down since the ban was enacted, they're still very concerned. SPS has filed a lawsuit against Juul, one of the largest e-cigarette brands, saying they deliberately marketed their products to youth. From 2016 to 2018, Seattle Public Schools says there was a 250% increase in the number of 10th graders who say they had vaped within the past 30 days. Now, the emergency ban is currently in effect until February 7th of next year. If Washington State were to invoke a permanent ban, they would join Massachusetts as the only two states to do so so far. For now, here in West Seattle, I'm Tony Black, King 5 News. Do you hate the president? Let him